evening and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. Today is Thursday, November the 8th, 2012. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, we'll hear from the Speaker of the House, Beth Harwell, about the Republican supermajority in the Tennessee legislature. Coffee County and Tallahoma is home territory to leaders in both the Senate House, uh, State House, and the Senate. And we'll have some, and we'll tell you about some upcoming events coming up to honor our veterans. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's news leader on six. Stay tuned. Telehoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name is Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver's Smokehouse. Welcome back. For the first time in recent history, Coffee County and Tullahoma is home territory to leaders in both the State House and Senate. Former Tullahoma Alderman and Congressional Candidate Janice Bowling rode a wave of Republican turnout to easily beat her Democratic challenger for the 16th District State Senate seat during Tuesday's balloting. Unofficial vote totals in Coffee County gave Bowling 12,054 votes to 5,815 votes for South Pittsburgh Democrat Jim Lewis. Across the district, Bowling won by over 19, uh, rather over 16,000 votes as she received 38,147 votes to 21,796 for Lewis. Incumbent 47th State House District Representative Judd Matheny was also easily re-elected to a fifth term Tuesday. The Tullahoma Republican won Coffee County by capturing nearly 65 percent of the vote over Democrat Scott Price. Unofficial totals show Matheny with 11,736 votes in Coffee County compared to 6,347 for prize. Across the entire district, which includes a portion of Warren County, Matheny received 14,898 votes to prize to 7,779. Matheny is now House Speaker Pro Tem. Both he and Janice Bowling will join so-called super majorities for the GOP and the General Assembly when it convenes in January. Tennessee House Speaker Beth Harwell spoke about the supermajority from a GOP event Tuesday night in Nashville. Let's watch this video from our friends at TNReports.com. Give me your six results tonight. Where are you as a majority? Where are you as speaker? Well, in the state of Tennessee, this was a very good night. Uh, we achieved what we've never achieved before, which was a supermajority in the Tennessee legislature, both in the House and in the Senate. And I think that's largely attributed to the fact that over the last two years as a majority, we've governed this state well. We've lowered taxes, we've limited government, and that's obviously what the people wanted. What's number one on your agenda? Well, I think number one in my mind is to, to govern with humility and to understand that this is an awesome responsibility that we have on our shoulders now to lead this state and to lead it well. 
and uh, I think we're up to the task. One last thing, uh, there's a lot of talk about the dangers of a supermajority, yes. where uh, you've seen what happens to the Democrats, uh, Tennessee Waltz and uh, Highway Patrol and the like, you've, you've seen all of this. Mm -hmm. How do you prevent that from happening to your supermajority? Well, you know, I, I think uh, ever diligent on the part of the voters that they're going to hold us accountable for our actions and how we conduct ourselves. And I think we've proven over the last two years as a majority party that, that we're up to the task and that we'll handle ourselves correctly. But always we report to uh, the voters. And, and the great thing about living in a democracy is that the highest office you can ever hold is that of citizen. And so uh, we'll be beholding to our citizens and we'll conduct ourselves well. Um, and uh, if we don't, then we will reap the consequences of that. Fourth District Congressman Scott Desjardins easily turned back a challenge by Franklin County Democrat Eric Stewart despite revelations about two affairs Desjardins had with patients at his Marion County practice while he was divorcing in 2000. Desjardins garnered 126,751 votes to 99,823 votes for Stewart. National Democrats had targeted the race for a possible upset after the details of the divorce were revealed. Former State Senator Stewart, who is from Franklin County, lost every county in the sprawling rural district, including his own. There will be a new face on the Coffee County Commission as of the result of Tuesday's election. Republican Gary Kidd picked up 553 votes in the in District 20 race, compared to 393 for Democrat Paul Buckner. Kidd picked up some 58% of the vote uh, to decide the Tullahoma Commission seat. Sixth District Representative Diane Black easily won re-election. In Coffee County, Black got 12,263 unofficial votes. She faced no Democratic opposition. The district includes Coffee and Cannon Counties. Tennessee Senator Bob Corker is headed back for another term in Washington. The former Chattanooga mayor easily turned back a challenge by disavowed Democrat Mark Clayton. Corker garnered 12,833 votes to 4,370 uh, 4, for Clayton. Coffee County election officials say 61% of the county's 32,000 eligible voters cast ballots this election cycle. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Hi folks, Trey McNabb, General Manager at Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The temperature may be cooling down, but the deals at Stan McNabb are heating up. Save money on gas. Lease this 2013 Dodge Dart, $275 a month. Zero cash down. Or choose a Jeep Grand Cherokee remote start and turn the heated seats on before you even get in. Get ready for the colder weather and come get one of these hot deals at Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Tullahoma. And remember, if anyone can, Stan can. Hi, I'm Jim Woodard of Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Antwerp, Belgium is the diamond capital of the world. As a member of IJO, Woodard's has a rare opportunity to buy directly from the Antwerp Diamond Cutter. Woodard's will be leaving for Antwerp shortly to handpick diamonds at substantial savings. So stop in now and have Woodard's choose the perfect diamond for you, directly from Antwerp, Belgium, only at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Mark, 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 you've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay him a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Welcome back. The city of Tullahoma will be honoring our veterans this Friday. Mayor Lane Curley shares the details. Well, I appreciate this opportunity to invite our veterans and our families of veterans here in Tullahoma to attend our Veterans Day recognition that will be this Friday at 11 o'clock at the Tullahoma Event Center. I think it's appropriate that we pause each year and recognize our veterans and show our appreciation to them for the service that they have provided to our country. So I uh, encourage everybody, the public, to attend as well, please, that we uh, all gather at the uh, Event Center uh, this Friday at 11 o'clock and uh, recognize our veterans, again, just for a job well done and that they're the ones that actually have uh, supported and provided for the many freedoms that we enjoy. So I uh, hope to see everybody this Friday at 11 o'clock at the event center where we, we come together to show our appreciation and respect 
for the veterans of our area. Thank you. The Coffee County Veterans Organizations will have a ceremony at 2 p.m. on Sunday at the Courthouse Square in Manchester. And the American Legion Post 43 of Tullahoma will honor veterans at their home post on Atlantic Street, also at 2 p.m. on Sunday. And in other news, the, tenant, the uh, Highway 41 toy convoy rolled from Manchester to Tullahoma this past Sunday. John Gray brings us this report. This is the toy convoy. 41A toy convoy downtown Tullahoma and there's cars and motorcycles, big rigs, trains and music. Good-looking antique cars, cars people work on. Look at there, there's a big orange one over there. It's a whole family of cars right there. And the reason the car family is here, they're a custom automotive shop, right? Yes, sir. And that truck is full of toys. That they raised by themselves. That they did what? They raised those all by themselves. Raised that money all by themselves. Get it tightened up, men. Get in here where we can get all of you, all those smiles. Just what, just what, uh, what put you in the notion to do that? Go out and get all these toys for these kids. I just wanted to help out less fortunate kids. There you go. We take so much for granted, so there's a lot we can help out with. You got it. What about these two over here? Get it for the train come. <laughs> just doing it for the kids. Yeah. Doing it for, for the, the kids. kids. Where are you located? Manchester. Manchester. 807 MacArthur Street. 807 MacArthur Street. You do anything about cars, don't yes, you? Yes, sir. All right. That's a good commercial for you right there. Won't charge you a thing because of all you've done <laughs> for the convoy. Katie, are you happy, baby? Yes, I am. We got more toys this year with fewer people than we did last year with more people. All and that right. That makes sense. All right. It makes I mean, sense. we got three big pickup trucks full of toys. All right. Well, Four, you did a, did a great job. You did a great job. We're proud of you. Go Thank enjoy. You. Go enjoy. There's some guy down there singing music. Rebel, I don't know who he is. That's the Rebel Soul Band. That's Virgil T. I don't know who that guy is down there. I guess he cut a tree down if you give him a chance. I he? bet he would too. <laughs> and Virgil Tree, thanks everybody for coming out and supporting the convoy and for the city of Tullahoma and Manchester and the county for helping us get through the traffic and all. All right. And the cars! There they are. Y'all need to start a rock and roll band. <laughs> there you go. Thank y'all. Merry you Christmas. Merry Christmas. Stay tuned. More news later on 6 is coming up straight ahead. Our office used to look like this. But now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here? A big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper free, right? Thank you. My paper free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. It is said that the eyes are the windows to the soul, and the Eye Care Center wants to make your eyes the best windows possible. The professionals at the Eye Care Center have been offering comprehensive eye care for over 30 years, from eye examinations to eye surgery. From children to seniors, we have the services you need. We pride ourselves on taking the time to fully understand our patients' wants and needs. Each patient is a unique situation and deserves our full attention and the latest treatment options. So call or stop by one of our four convenient locations and start seeing better today. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Serving you as a local firefighter. 
proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back. A representative from the Tennessee Tourism Department stopped by our studio last week to bring us up to date on what they're going to be doing to promote tourism in our area. John Gray brings us this report. Ladies and gentlemen, John Gray at Channel 6 Studios here in Tullahoma, and today I'm proud to have Derek Smith with us, and he is with the Department of Tourism for the state of Tennessee, and his job is to promote tourism to the state bring people into the state on a lot of levels and I guess Derek congratulations for at least having that job it sounds like a fun thing to do. John thanks a lot it is a wonderful job uh, it gives me an opportunity to get all over Middle Tennessee especially being the Middle Tennessee regional manager uh, promoting tourism and getting people to visit our state. I guess the question I have is on a local level because our network goes to about eight or ten towns in the lower southern middle Tennessee what can we do locally to promote tourism in Tennessee and promote our own towns and and the the, low, the areas that we're in I think here in the south central region of the state one of the most important things to do is to educate each other about what there is to do here um, south central Tennessee has a plethora of things to do um, primarily what I think about what I think of this area is, is horses and spirits <laughs> um, I think about the Jack Daniels being the number one um, spirit in the world. Um, you also have George Dickel, you have Pritchard's Rum, you have um, even um, Short Mountain Moonshine is still in, mm -hmm. um, in this region. So I think of things like that. You also you can't forget Tennessee Walking Horses. Right. You also have Saddle Horses and other things here. Um, motorcycle trails, is exactly. So um, also you can um, experience. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to educate the people of what there is to do in this region. And one of the things that you said to me earlier is, is the citizens need to be educated as well about what's in their town. You know, something that might be old hat to you if somebody from Arkansas or Oklahoma comes into town, uh, they might not uh, think the Fly Center or the Fine Arts Center in Tullahoma is old hat because they don't pass by it every day so so we need to understand ourselves what's in our area very, very much true i think of it as the big pink elephant in the room you know you drive by the big pink elephant every day but when someone else comes they're like oh my goodness what is this and i think that's what happens with all of us you know we get comfortable and we don't want to talk about what we see each and every day but to the new person coming in that's something that they may want to experience so give them that opportunity to brag about yourself a little bit, tell them what's going on, and tell them the things that you have to offer right here in your backyard. And that's dollars and cents yes, sir. that come from somewhere else and stay right here. We want people to come more, spend more, and enjoy themselves. And Middle Tennessee is a place that can happen. I totally agree. And between us and all of those folks out there, I think we can make it work. We surely can. Just get out. If you need more information, go to tnvacation.com and have an opportunity to select the places you want to visit here in our state. And you can do that on an app on your phone? Yes, sir. We have a mobile opportunity for you to do that and also an app. So for those people who have the smartphones, the iPads, and things of that nature, you can just go on and just take a look at it and see what we have to offer. All right. Derek Smith. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you for having us. Travel. <laughs> Spend money. Right here. It's good. More news later on 6 is coming up after these messages. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care. Meeting a higher standard, because residents matter most. You like downloading movies. You like gaming. 
and you like streaming sports. This isn't on my map. Now you have the speed to do it all at once. Charter Ultra 60, our fastest internet ever. We're losing it, Doctor! Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation! It's gotta be okay! Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. And for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Tullahoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitored drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a Chihuahua mix named Lizzie. He was available for adoption. Lizzie is approximately two years old and is up to date on her vaccinations. She is great with other pets and children. She has been spayed and housebroken. Microchip identification is available for all dogs adopted for a $10 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. State law also requires a $25 deposit refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been neutered or spayed. The Tahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. And the Coffee County Humane Society's featured pets this week are Jack and Jill. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. The hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at Post Office Box 252 Manchester 37349 and their web website is www.coffeehumane.org. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. Are you looking for a new car dealer that offers no games, no gimmicks, no hassles? Then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Keith Barnett here today with my nephew Clay to tell you about the all new 2012 Kia Optima. Yours today for $21,995 after rebates and incentives. With America's best warranty, the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. No games, no gimmicks, no hassles. My question is, tell them, Clay. Why buy anywhere else? Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Tullahoma Fire Department, Tullahoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing. Neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of old Mexico. Since 1889, Traders Bank has been helping our neighbors realize their dreams. Whether our customers are looking to put a roof over their heads, try their hand at entrepreneurship, or see themselves behind the wheel of a shiny new car, the folks at Traders Bank have always been ready to dive in with them. Because at Traders, we lend you more than just money. We lend you our good name. Traders Bank. 
you're welcome. for things other people get right away just doesn't make much sense. Get high-speed charter internet and enjoy downloads way faster than DSL. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip and then boom! Adventure and thrills everywhere you look which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind or bring the crowd for some stargazing or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 2005 at 80 degrees. The record low was in 1951 at 17 degrees. The average high on this day is 64 and the average low is 40. For tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of around 30. Mostly sunny weather expected for Friday with a high of 66 and a low of 42. And sunny weather remains in the forecast for Saturday with a high of 69 and a low of 44. And folks, don't forget the Tullahoma Wildcats take on Columbia and the playoff game in Columbia this Friday night. So if you get a chance, go get over there and support your Wildcats. And Chip also noticed that uh, the Chiefs uh, from Manchester yeah. team, they, they really did something pretty neat. Yeah, Manchester Chiefs, uh, the uh, little junior pro team over in our uh, Coffee County Youth Football League, uh, been undefeated, uh, scored upon one time, I think, all season. Got to play in a, uh, a little post-game uh, uh, scrimmage, so to speak. At, or actually two halves they played in at LP Field after uh, the Titans-Colts uh, game. Yeah. Uh, City of Manchester honored them uh, Tuesday night at their at their uh, regular scheduled meeting and so had the kids up there, got the photos and everything. It was pretty cool. But a uh, great little bunch of little guys. They're still playing. These guys are going to be playing until uh, probably almost into Christmas. They, they're they going to wind up playing something 20-something games all season. Right. So uh, been a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal effort. Great. Uh, Jimmy Hollinsworth is a, uh, a coach over there. Head coach and uh, so good bunch of good bunch of folks. Absolutely, that's something they'll remember on the rest of their lives. Sure folks, not. that is our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at six, eight, and ten for newsletter on six. You have a good evening. A great night.